a cozy, whatever, it's the big one for the heavy gate. Let's see if I can get this thing working. The pre previous owner of this shop, I'm here at a shop in New Jersey, automotive, um, took the key fob with them. They didn't have the key fob. So I'm gonna try program it. There should be, see I don't know what this wire, these two wires are. I hope they're not for anything. I mean it does, if it's got power and everything, I got my lights there. Hold the AN button. Take another look. It's kind of flimsy, but let's see. Should be able to work from a good distance. Let's see if I see anything jamming up or anything. Just here to get it to work, not. Not worry about if it's binding or not. It's kind of flimsy. I don't know if it's hitting anything. On the way back, maybe. But yeah, that chain just drags on the ground. Yeah, I guess you have to manually do something over here. I guess you got to guide it. That's probably. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really know what they can do about that. Looks like it's supposed to go in that section there. So it works though. Let's see if I can stop it. Stop it there. I don't know if it'll reverse. Okay, so. Okay. So I guess this is how. All right. Well, it went past the sensor there. I don't know if that's a sensor or what that is. Man, that thing's flimsy. All right, well. Honestly, don't know what to do about that. Alright, 
just uh, only works on the one button, the top button. Just hit the same button. That thing's still humming here. I don't know why it's humming. Has it got a timeout? Hopefully. Well, I turned it off. I hit the. I did that. I didn't like that it was buzzing so much. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the one of the guys to come out. We'll show him what's up. And then uh, that's a wrap for this.